，揸長談深入時事話題。呢次省政府最近公布咗二零一七年、二零一八年嘅總年度預算案，當然一定係有人鬧、有人讚。我哋今日咧，循慣例仍然係請到我哋嘅省財政廳長 Mike d i o n 先生嚟親自同我哋講下，亦都發回應一下誒市面上對佢嘅批評或者係對佢嘅反應。Welcome back to Monday Forum, Mr. Mike d i o n BC, great to be here. Great to be on the program. Yeah, and it's great to see you once in a year, and you still look very healthy. So far, so good. <laughs> well. The reason why you're here is obviously the budget. This is a budget that,、uh, and I would like to quote、uh, Ian Black. He said, "There isn't a government of any political stripe in this country who wouldn't want to deliver today's budget." I think that speaks a lot, and you must be really proud of yourself. I think that's true. I think、uh, it's a testament to the hard work of、uh, British Columbians. And the point I always make, BC. Because sometimes people talk about the budget as if it's the government's money, it's the people's money. The people watching this program,、uh, what we do is make decisions as best we can on behalf of the people、uh, about what to do with their money. And I think Ian was right. I think virtually every government in the country would、mm-hmm. like to be in the position that BC is in right now. Well, I think、uh, the, Ian is uh, the, it's uh, very kind to you.、Uh, Uh, the, to the budget, but、uh, there are some who are not not so happy about it. We'll talk about that later. But one thing that stands very, very strong in this budget is everyone was surprised. MSP, MSP has been cut half, and then it's and you have said clearly that the final target is to eliminate it, but. You, last year, when you were in this program, and even、uh, on your throne,、uh, on the speech, you have actually made it very clear that that was not a good idea. Like、uh, you, you, you said, it is too costly, and it is so important that it's not wise to hide it inside the income tax. What changed your mind this year? Well, one thing didn't change,、uh, and that's the last thing you just said. We haven't hidden it anywhere. The、uh, the reduction、uh, that The cutting the、M- MSP in half, we haven't、uh, sought that revenue through the income tax system.、Uh, it is a cut. There are no tax increases、uh, in this budget, so that's the first <laughs> thing. We're not hiding this anywhere. Now, others have proposed that.、Um, our, our political opponents have suggested that's what they would do: is hide、uh, hide the increase、uh, elsewhere.、Um, but the Other difference that I think、uh, was instrumental in、uh, in arriving at this decision is a year ago we didn't have a one and a half or two billion dollar surplus, so we found ourselves, thanks to the strength of our、uh, nation leading economy, with far more revenue than、uh, was previously the case. And it is unusual, BC, because generally when governments take more money from The people than they need,、mm-hmm. they spend it. They spend it, and we said no. In this case,、uh, we are going to、uh, return it to people. We're going to leave it with them. There's really only three choices. One is、uh, income tax. We already have the lowest income tax、uh, in the country for people earning less than $125,000.、Uh, the PST, but the PST, reducing the PST by one cent for a family earning $60,000. That's not a very big deal. MSP has come up time and time again because we are the only province with a separate charge, and people、uh, repeatedly said to me,、uh, "Can you get rid of it?" Now we can't get rid of it entirely,、uh, but we can cut it in half and set the objective of getting rid of it, and that's what we've done.、Mm-hmm. Now、uh, it's true that、uh, they. You did not、uh, increase the income tax. You did not increase the PST, because we have a surplus of 1.5 billion dollars to 2 billion dollars. But that surplus、uh, fluctuates and differs every year. How can you guarantee that、uh, the, in the future we still can enjoy the luxury of such a surplus? And if not, will the MSP come back? You know, you have asked the question that I wish. Other journalists would ask, 
because uh, you're the first person who has wisely asked that question. Because revenues do fluctuate, which is why we build uh, we build some uh, some prudence into the budget. I always forecast a little bit below what the experts are saying. So if the experts say our economy is going to grow at 2.3 percent. We budget at 2.1. Uh, we build in a forecast allowance. We build in a, a contingency. So we build some additional prudence, caution into the budget to take account. Now, if there's a worldwide recession again, well, that's that's a different story. But things change through the year. It's YBC. This is the fifth balanced budget in a row. We have a very good track record for hitting our targets. In fact, over the last. Uh, four or five years, each year we have done better than our targets. I, I hope that record continues, mm -hmm. but as you say, uh, budgeting uh, can be unpredictable, but we've established a, a very good track record, the best in the country. Mm -hmm. So in the future, uh, that you, what gives you the confidence that uh, the, this will still be managed? Because the medical cost is going it, it will only go up, not only with the, with, with the equipment or the technology, it's expensive, but uh, the population that needs to be taken care of, the elderly, the seniors, will increase. So with $1 billion in revenue kind of foregoed uh, the, because of this cut or elimination of the MSP, really, my, my, my question is still, how can we afford it with this current revenue that we have? Well, I want to answer, but I want to reinforce something you said, because uh, over the course of the next two months, people are going to hear allegations of cuts to health care spending. When I became an MLA, the health care budget was $6 billion. Uh, at the end of this fiscal plan, it'll be $20 billion. In the three years covered by this budget, health care spending will go up by $4.2 billion. That's not a cut. So your point about the demands of health care by the population is very real. Um, why am I confident that uh, we can achieve this and, and maintain the, uh, the reduced MSP, MSP premiums? Because of the strength of our economy, our diversified economy. Two things. Our economy in BC is more diversified than any other economy in Canada. And our markets are more diversified. We are the least dependent on the U.S. of all the provinces. We have done a better job than any other province in Canada to seek out and establish ourselves in new markets like China, uh, like Korea, and now we're working uh, on, uh, on India. So it is the strength of our diversified economy and our diversified trade portfolio that is really the secret, I think, to our success in B.C. That needs to be really carefully managed. It really does. Yes, because that's that, that the, the, the health and the livelihood of the city, of the citizens really depends on the health care budget, which needs to be there. No matter what happened, it needs to be there. You got that right. Yeah. Well, talking about, since we have gotten into the health care issues, seniors, one thing that, that is quite missed that we didn't see much or obviously as a separate item is to take care of the seniors. Uh, the, I know in, when you increase the, uh, uh, the part of the budgets, it has the, uh, the in-house care. I think that is something that is, will benefit the, uh, the seniors. But other than that, uh, housing, senior housing, cost of living, uh, they all has gone up and there's nothing really specified in helping the seniors. Politically, it's a good, it's a good thing to do because the senior are stable voters and the, the seniors' children will appreciate that. Why, first of all, am I right that there's nothing much about helping the senior in this budget? And if I'm right, why? I'm not sure I agree. Okay. Uh, and, here's, and here's why. Uh, so for example, we, we were talking about uh, MSP. 90% of the seniors in BC will benefit significantly from that change. That's money going into the pockets of seniors in BC. Uh, in many instances, uh, seniors on, on fixed income, 90%, uh, a direct benefit to, uh, to seniors in BC. 
Uh, we uh, signed an agreement with Ottawa that's going to provide uh, significant additional resources for home care and home support. Now, it wasn't as much as we wanted, mm -hmm. uh, but it is still uh, uh, going to be helpful uh, in terms of uh, providing uh, assistance to seniors. Um, property tax uh, deferral programs uh, are available uh, to seniors. Um, I think when you look at the broad suite of uh, investments uh, that have been made, uh, I talked about $4.2 billion in health care. Well, we know who the, the largest segment of our po population is consuming health care uh, services. So uh, I know people tend to look for, for words. I think the majority of British Columbians look for results. Are we mm -hmm. actually providing the support necessary? And as I say, 90% of seniors are going to be paying either no uh, either no MSP premiums as a result of this budget or have their MSP premiums cut in half. That's a lot of people. How about PharmaCare? Well, PharmaCare, well, PharmaCare people uh, already enjoy uh, significant uh, support and it's based on their income. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, uh, you know, drugs are, drugs are expensive and uh, most people know that, but we've got a system in place that I think uh, allows low-income seniors to get significant support for them. Mm. I mean, the point is we want people to get the health care they need when they need it and the uh, pharmaceutical uh, products they need at, at an affordable price. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the, you've mentioned about the uh, putting the money in the, in, in the people's pocket, and I agree to certain extent that uh, the, for the middle class, Having some, they they have the knowledge and the ability and the capability of managing their own uh, their money, and their own finance. But to most seniors, they would really like to be taken care of. So, down the road in the in our in our budget or in our policy, is there any? It would help to have specific policies that will proactively take care of the seniors' health and their cost of living. Uh, the, is that an expectation that we can look forward to? Well, I'm going to uh, suggest this, uh, BC, in, in the conversations I've been having with seniors. Do you know the comment I get more often than anything else? Mm -hmm. Is seniors who say to me, I'm proud of the fact that you guys are balancing the budget because I don't want you borrowing money to look after me because I know it's my kids and grandkids that are going to have to pay that off. I think seniors understand and uh, uh, are supportive of the principle that we need to live within our means. I think they do look for, uh, they are looking for uh, support in terms, of, uh, uh, in terms of the ability to live at home uh, over a prolonged period and we've provided some, uh, some tax credits uh, that recognize mm -hmm. the advantage of renovating uh, a home to support uh, seniors uh, living there. As I say, uh, tax deferral uh, programs that allow seniors to keep, keep money and use money while they live in their, uh, their own homes. Now, as our economy, as our economy gets stronger, uh, we've already said that we want to move to the, towards the total elimination of MSP. Again, 90% of seniors will benefit directly from that uh, when, if and when we can uh, provide additional relief. Thank you very much. Let's take a break. 我哋休息一陣，一陣間再翻嚟繼續傾。